Hey there, everyone. My name's Axel Andrew. I'm a veteran pirate with about a thousand hours of experience in this game. I'm in the process of making a full new player guide for anyone who's interested in tackling the seas. In today's guide, we'll be covering how to make your pirate, the best setting to enjoy the game, the tutorial that we usually call the Maiden Voyage, as well as the basic structure of every outpost. Welcome to Axel Andrew's Declassified Sea Survival Guide. Result may vary. If it is your first time booting up the game, the game's gonna have you choose a pirate. Make sure you choose carefully as your body type, facial feature, and skin color are permanent and can't be changed later. When it comes to your facial hair or peg legs and stuff, that's a different story. You get to choose between a couple of pirates and you can always press 1 on the keyboard in order to favorite one. And sadly enough, you gotta keep cycling through it until you find a good one. Don't get discouraged, it took me a whole 45 minutes to get my pirate of choice. Once you've got your scoundrel, make sure that you head over to the setting tabs where we can already tweak a few things to make your experience more enjoyable. If you want your walking around sensitivity to be the same as your aiming down with a weapon sensitivity, it's a ratio of 1 to 3. For example, right now, I'm putting my mouse sensitivity to 2.5 and then my aiming down side sensitivity with every weapon to 7.5. You want to make sure that you turn escape as back or B as back on the controller in order to make navigating the menu feel a lot more natural. After that, in gameplay, you want to turn on reduce hold to interact. What that will do is that you're going to be able to pick up pieces of loot and different objects across the entire world of Sea of Thieves with a single press of a button instead of having to hold it down every time. Once that's done, you can go over into the HUD. You probably want to turn Island Banner to Slimline. That way you can still see the name of the island that you're visiting while also not have the banner cover half your screen. In video, you want auto skip intro animatic turned on. It will reduce the load time of whenever you boot up the game. In your graphic setting, you can put on your field of view at 90 to feel less claustrophobic. Your colorblindness filter if you need one. And you want to make sure to also turn on high contrast X mark. So whenever you're gonna go dig up some treasure, it's gonna be easier to read the map. You also have a couple of visibility settings that depend on your preferences. I make sure to turn them on. Once you're done with the setting, make sure that you head over to the play tab and you queue up the Maiden's Voyage. The Maiden's Voyage is your basic tutorial. It's gonna show you how to move around, use your weapons, select your tools of traits. Make sure that you go ahead and explore all of the island because there's a bunch of little secrets. You can get to experience with a rowboat. It's going to teach you how to fish and whatnot, even how to cook. There's an easy little secret where you can get 25,000 gold. I'm going to show you the path to it right away. Once you've picked up all of the chests, make sure that you finish up the Maiden Voyage and you should wake up in a tavern. Now, whether you got there because you just finished the Maiden Voyage or because you just queued up a new adventure, you'll always wake up at an outpost. Every outpost is kind of similar. Uh, their layout may differ, but at the end of the day, they all got five different cosmetic shops as well as three representatives of the main trading companies. It can be a bit overwhelming at first, so I'm gonna guide you starting at the dock. The first shop that you're gonna encounter is the Shipwright. That's where you buy some ship cosmetic, although they're quite pricey. So don't expect to be <laughs> spending money on that right away. After that, you got the equipment shop, where you can buy compasses, shovels, and other tools to trade to make your adventure a bit more stylish. 
After that, if you walk up to a shop with targets on it, well, that's the weapon shop. That's where, believe it or not, you buy weapons. After that, you got the clothing shop. Unlike what its name suggests, it sells a lot more than just clothing. That's also where you can get a hair trim, like beards, tattoos, and even get a free amputation by getting a peg leg or one of those fancy hooks. Last, and certainly not least, you got the Pirate Emporium, where you can spend real-life money for cosmetics. I'm personally not a big fan of it, but you can always pick up a free emote of the month, as well as the free hide emote, which can be useful depending on how you want to play the game. That will be it for today. Make sure to join me next time where I'm going to be explaining the basic of sailing, as well as tell you all about the trading companies and also start making money in Sea of Thieves.